Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the network address translation or the net idea, which we discussed in our previous video. So we discussed the theory part and in this video, we are going to discuss the uh, implementation using Cisco Packet Tracer. So for that, and to save time, I have done, or I have done some connectivity, which I'm going to explain to you. You see, we have this switch, that switch is connected with three PCs and then this is this switch is connected with a router and this router is connected with another router on, on the right hand side of this router you can see we have one pc and we have also a server here so you can select these pcs for example from here so i have selected this pc so in the same way i have selected all these pcs and if you need to configure so we have to give ip addresses to them so for this on in the green so we have a network in the green we call this inside network and this inside network is using private ip addresses and on the right hand side we have outside network and this outside network is using some public ip addresses and the job of net or the network address translation is to translate ip addresses which are in private ip addresses to public IP addresses. So this is the job of network address translation. So this in green, this is our inside network and these all nodes within this, they all are using this private IP address that is 192.168.10.0 slash 24, this is a subnet mask. Anyway, so this PC has been assigned this IP address, second PC has been assigned this IP address and this one has been assigned this IP address. And to do that, you can just go to that PC and go to desktop IP and then you can give IP address, subnet mask and as well as the default gateway. So for these all PCs, this interface of the router, so router R1 and the interface is G0 slash 0, that interface is being used as the default gateway for the computer on the left hand side. And if we go to the right hand side, we have one PC and we also have a server. So these computers are within same network and that for those computers this interface which is actually g0 slash 0 slash 1 interface is the default gateway for that and I have configured these IP addresses on these interfaces for that and if you want to see the commands which you can use for to to assign IP addresses to these interfaces so for example, if I have to configure the IP address on this one, so these are the commands you can use this one to assign IP address to this interface. And in the same way, you just have to change the names and you can assign IP addresses to all the interfaces of the routers. So, and then I have, I have actually configured a static route. So from this router to reach this router, I have configured a uh, default route so for that this is the command so you can go to this router in global configuration mode you can use this command then this default route will be set and for this one so for this one i'm going to discuss now so what we have to do in this lab so this is uh, the network in the green this is the inside network and on the outside network if they want to travel so as as far as they are communicating with each other there is no problem but for uh, for them to use some of the resources on the outside network for example the resources of this server so on the server so on the server we have uh, uh, enabled http services so for that you can see go to services and this http services and we have turned on those services i hope you can see this on and on and then we have set the ip address of this server so this is the ip address of this server so it means they uh, so on this uh, side of the users they can access the server but on this side these users which are on the private network are on the inside network they can't access it so for example if we ping from this pc from this uh, from this pc to the next pc it should work so for example we can say ping 192.168.10.2 so it's working you see they are able to communicate with each other but if i ping from this pc to this server that is 172.3.2.1 it will not work so for example we can say ping 172.3.2.1 so ping it and you can see it's going but it will not work because these are private ip addresses 
and by definition they are not routed they are not allowed to be routed so, uh, so now to solve that problem we need this uh, network address translation and for that network address translation we need uh, to configure uh, we need to use some public ip addresses and in this lab actually we are working on static network address translation so static network address translation means for each private IP address, we will be using one public IP addresses. So this will be the mapping used in this router. So we have to configure this static mapping and then hopefully this will work. This will work means the computers on the left hand side will be able to reach computer on the right hand side, which are basically an outside network, which are basically part of maybe internet. So for that configurations, let's go first to this router and yes, and this is the mapping and let's go for this mapping. So for that mapping, we go to this router and we have a command that we will be using for this one. So for this uh, mapping, so we have to uh, configure this manually. And for that, we have a command that will be using this one is this is the command by which we can map a private IP address to public IP address and the command is IP net inside source static. So IP network address translation and this inside means these IP addresses on the inside network part of the network will be translated and source means source IP address will be translated by this router. So let's configure this. We go to router. And for this configuration, we have to go to global configuration mode. So first we go to privilege mode and from this privilege mode, let's go to global configuration mode. And in this global configuration mode, this command we have to use. So that is IP net, IP net, and then inside, and then we have source. So source IP address will be changed. And then we are using static network address translation. So if you remember, we have a static, dynamic, and we have PAT. So in this video, we are only discussing static. So we just uh, type static. And then we have to type in this mapping. So mapping is 192.168.321. So that will be uh, 192.168.3.2.1. Uh, no, sorry, 192.168.10.1 and the public IP address is 200.3.2.1 and so that's that's the command which we need to map. So by this we want to ask, uh, ask the router that whenever you receive a request from a user or from a computer having this IP address and if the traffic is supposed to go to public network or to the outside network then this is the translation you should use. So by this command, we mapped one IP address, one private to public. And the same way for the next one, we have to use two here. And the second public IP address. And the same way, third one. So this will be the third mapping which we need because we have three PCs. So we are done. So now we have defined the mapping now we have to define so in the global configuration map we after uh, defining this mapping we have to decide that which interface will be on the inside part of the network and which interface of this router will be on the outside part of the network so in this case this is g0 slash 0 which is basically on the inside part of the network and g0 slash 1 is the interface on the outside part of the network so we need to define this as well so for that we need to go to interface g zeros so that is gigabit ethernet zero slash zero and then we have a command that's ip net and then we have inside ip net inside so we defined this interface to be the inside interface which is lying on the side of private network or the network using private IP addresses and on this side g0 slash 1 so for that we need to go 
to interface g0 slash 1 so gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and press enter and here we define this interface as outside interface so ip net outside so now we define these interfaces one of them is an inside side and second interface is on the uh, outside network so we have defined and now for this router we have configured this uh, this default route so we can see this one as well so maybe we can see show ip route and this will say that static route has been configured so this is default route for every kind of traffic or every ip address this has to use this ip address as the next path so this is the sorry next hop so this is 172.20.02 is the next hop for all the traffic which will be coming to this router and this router will forward that traffic to this to this interface in the same way for this interface uh, for for that router sorry for that router let's see we see show ip raw and you can see here we have defined statically the ip route for that so we have configured that for this ip address so that is 200.3.2 so these are the public ip addresses you see here in the static net table we have public ip addresses so this this network actually defines these ip addresses and we are asking that router that if you find a traffic which has to go to this network then you have to forward that traffic to 172.20.0.1 uh, as a next hop so that traffic will be forwarded to this interface you see the, this interface of the router and for that on this router we have used this command so this command will be say, uh, will enable ip route static route on this router and this ip address will be used on this one so by these two commands we have set these routes and now we have defined this mapping and we have defined this uh, interface in the inside uh, part and the interface in the outside part and uh, that's it and how and it should work and then these are the commands which we just use it uh, okay so we use this and let's try it let's verify it's working if if this everything is fine so we go to this uh, pc and we have configured this uh, this server is HTTP server so we can uh, use this command in the browser of this PC so we go to the browser and we can type in the IP address of HTTP server that is 172.3.2.1 press enter you can see we are able to reach this server machine which is on the public network it means this translation is working and in the same way if you want to ping this computer so let's say maybe we try from this pc and uh, we ping the computer maybe this that is 172.3.2.2 press enter and let's wait if this is working and it should work and yes you see it's working that we got reply from this one it means our translation is working and for verification we can also use the command that is show ip net and then we have translation so this will give us all the translation being done by this router so in this case we can verify that one of the uh, pc was using ping so ping means icmp protocol was used there and inside local networks inside local networks means on this part inside network the pcs which sent the requested request so those pc had ip address of 192.168.10.2 and second one was this was 192.168.10.1 so this is actually the translation for these all three pcs and this is the request which they made okay and this is so this is the inside local addresses and these are inside global addresses and in the same way this is the outside local address it means the request was for for some pc on this side so for example this one so this outside local address for this one and outside global that is same 
So from the theory we discussed about this inside local and inside global. But inside local means the PC, these private IP addresses and inside global means these public IP addresses to which we are mapping this one. So we can verify from this one as well. And if we want to further verify, maybe we can go, for example, we can go to simulation mode. And here we can and just maybe we can select maybe only the HTTP. So from here, let's verify that we have selected HTTP. This is HTTP selected. Okay. And then we can maybe go to this PC and the browser, we can say 172.3.2.1 to reach this HTTP server. And then by we can say go and then we click on this forward. So now you can see we have a packet being here. Here packet is generated, which is creating HTTP traffic and we can see what's there. So in this, it says that this is PC zero. This is source is DC, destination is HTTP client. And if we look at the outbound interface, so we can look at the IP address of this packet. So you can see this is the source IP address and the destination IP address is this one this one and let's move forward and let's go to the router and at the router if you want to see the same packet let's see at the router we can see the inbound so in the inbound we have this source ip address actually the private ip address of this pc and destination ip address is the http server and the outbound interface this is something important here you see source address has been changed to a public IP address or the inside global IP address which we define. So you can see this has been translated by the router and now this request can go further to the router and we can see further animation by ourselves. And uh, yes, so this was it about the static network address translation. And uh, um, thank you very much for your time. And in the next video, we will discuss about a dynamic network address translation. So thank you.